Hello, and welcome to Animation um, Chapter 5, Lesson 3. And in this particular item, what we're doing is we're dealing with uh, adding videos, and then we're going to be adding sound to go according to those videos. Now, um, what I've done when we're going through some of this, one of the issues are is you, you have to convert a, a video to work, and sometimes a video does convert successfully, and sometimes it doesn't, and I'll kind of be talking through some of that. So the very first thing I did is I opened up fl5 underscore 3 dot fla, and I've done that, and then you would rename it fireworks dot fla. Then what I want to do is I want to in insert a new layer above the controls layer and name it video. So here's my controls layer, and then I want to insert, I want to do timeline, and I want to do layer. So that's my layer there, and I want to call it video, my video layer. Strangely enough, the video layer will have a video. Then I want to do file, import, and import video. I want to do file, import and import um, video. Now when I did this before, this is where my issue came down. And so I, I've done that. I want to click embed FLV right here and play in timeline option button, right? Good, got it. Click browse, navigate to the drive folder where your data files are stored and click fireworks.mov. So I'm going to browse and I click fireworks.mov. Now what happens is, do you see where this uh, fireworks.flv? That's the one that you have to import. The only issue is is that that's not actually created in the very beginning. So I'm going to kind of show you some of the steps of what I did. So let's let's see if it converts it correctly. The video format you've selected is not valid for embedding a file. Please select an FLV file. Right if the video is not valid, click OK, then launch Adobe Media Encoder, which is that one right there. So basically what's happening is, all right, and now it's brought about the encoder, and then it says, OK, click Start Queue. On mine, when I went to add this, it did not have this already sitting in the queue like it did. Of course, it worked perfectly fine now. If it doesn't or isn't sitting as present, click Add and then go out and find it and then add it to the queue. Once that's done, all this is doing is this is converting it from a .mov to an FLV. Notice mine says underscore 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and convert it so you can see it work. It's then going to go through it. You'll notice that you have this um, status bar down here at the bottom, and then when it's all said and done, you have the little green check mark there that indicates, hey, I've converted it and everything is awesome. After you convert it then, so we can close that one. Okay, we've encoded it, great. It is still set for the old file. So once we've done that, I want to click OK, close, and I'm on number 10 on Flash 5-15. I want to now browse, and I want to choose the .flv file. So in this one is the fireworks.flv, which I created before. So I want to push open at that point in time. Now what then happens is I want to do next. Now I'm here. When I'm this screen, make sure that everything is selected. Then I push next again. Finish video import, right? I want to do I would do want to finish it and then my uh, video is now imported now they make you run the video but the issue that they have with the run is there is a stop located right at the beginning of this so it actually doesn't play anything um, so what we're going to do is we have to add a function to the play button so I'm going to take you through that step and then I'm going to show you some things so that I'm click on my play button and I want to make sure my action so I want to do window and I want to make sure to bring up my actions because what I'm doing here's my I'm adding an action to my play button so I make sure my button play is selected and then I click here global functions and I believe it's movie global function timeline control so timeline control and then I want to choose play now, the problem that they've got, if you recall back into our button examples, there was, there was uh, four different options for buttons, and I had it up here so you can actually see it. It added play, that's great, but when we're taking a look at our play buttons, our play has three different parts to it, and I pulled it up. It has an up, an over, and a down, okay? So... What I have to do when I'm working with this play is you see where it says on release push play. That's associated the function play 
with the action on release. So I'm going to copy all this so you can actually see it. Because if I was to push play over here, it simply wouldn't work. What I have to do is I have to tell it that when the button is clicked on, which is the on release, so on would be the name of the uh, function, release would be the uh, parameters which you send it, then it'll push play. So now I made sure that that is actually playing. And then if I click on the pause button, which has nothing going on on it either, I made sure button pause, and then I hit my add global functions, timeline control, and I want to choose stop. And once again, I have to make sure that my stop button looks like this, or my pause button looks like this, because of the fact that when it's clicked on, this is basically telling scripting wise, when it's clicked on, go ahead and push stop. Otherwise, it wouldn't know what to do there. So here's my stop, come along, click, paste, gorgeous, right? So it's perfectly fine. Once that works, what's going to happen is I'm going to close my actions, and I'm going to go ahead and control test movie in Flash Professional, and then I play it, and notice it is actually playing at this point in time, and I can stop it. So I've actually noticed when I'm clicking on it, now it actually does whatever that is. So when I put on release, which means, hey, when I click this, it does stuff. When I click this, it stops doing stuff, right? So that works perfectly fine the way it's supposed to be. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new layer called sound. It says, insert a new layer above the video layer, then name it sound. This is Flash 5-17. So here's my video, and I'm going to insert, and I'm going to do timeline, and I'm going to do layer, and I'm going to call this bad boy sound, right? Because I'm going to put the sound in it. That's why we call it sound. And then I'm going to click frame one on the sound layer awesome display the properties panel then display the sound area so there's my properties and here's now in our sound and i'm going to choose fireworks.wav and that's already been included so someone has gone out somewhere they've created the fireworks uh, uh sound and they've included it some people always get the impression that these sound files are magically appearing now someone has gone through they've made the fireworks uh, video somewhere so we can include it they made the sound uh, the fireworks sound so we can include it and uh, this all is pre-made uh, they don't magically fall from the sky and it happens that people believe some things sometimes so i want to click the the sync control right oh come on now it's being bashful all right, so I want to choose stream, so it's going to stream that uh, value, and I'm going to choose loop. Now, what's going on right here, so you're aware of this, is as long as this video plays, it's going to loop the fireworks. The firework sound is shorter than the actual length of the fireworks video. As a result, the fireworks sound plays over and over again with the same thing. So if I come along and I do, um, I'm going to control test movie in Flash Professional, and I play it. Now I don't know if you can hear the sound or not, but the sound's going off, and it has that high point, and then it goes off again. So it loops through about four times and then stops in the middle or right at the beginning of the fourth loop through. So from the main part of what you're trying to get here is, okay, I can add in my video, I can then script my buttons to respond to the video, and I can add in the other part where it specifically deals with uh, sound, so I can loop my sound according to what goes on in the video. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that pretty much concludes Chapter 5, Animation Flash, Chapter 5, Lesson 3, both inserting in animation and in, well, excuse me, inserting a movie as well as inserting a sound. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in Lesson 4. Thank you very much for your time.